What's up guys, welcome back. No matter how good of a painter you are, you should always have a drive to improve. But it's not always obvious how best to go about getting better. Of course practice helps, but that's only part of the equation. After all, you could practice blackwashing yellow for 50 years and it's still going to look terrible. If your initial premise or technique is flawed, practice is only going to result in you becoming more proficient at being bad. We all know the cliche is a poor workman that blames his tools, but even the most skilled engineer is going to struggle using a tape measure to unscrew a bolt. If your brush looks like an egg whisk, you're going to struggle no matter how good you are. So get yourself a decent brush, but don't fall into the trap of trying to find the smallest brush in the world. Instead, look for one with a fine tip, good bounce, and a decent sized belly. I can recommend the Winsor & Newton Series 7 No. 1, the WAMP Detail Brush, the Raphael 8408, or if you're on a budget, the Rosemary & Co Series 33. These are quite good, although I've found that they don't last as long as the Winsor & Newton. One of the key game changers for me was understanding the importance of paint consistency. Using a palette will make it easier to gauge the thickness of your paint. A lot of techniques simply won't work if you use the wrong paint consistency, so having a strong control over this aspect is vital to your painting. I recommend using a wet palette if you don't already. This will allow you to experiment with uh, dilution levels and keep the level consistent over a long period. I often have multiple consistencies of one colour on my palette at the same time. Don't pay too much attention to water to paint ratios. These are mostly given for ease of explanation and are usually no more than a general guideline. Instead, try to focus on how paint feels and reacts on the palette. Different brands have their own unique personalities. But as a general rule, thicker paints are going to require more water. However, that's not always true. Vallejo Armour Brown is very thin, but the pigment is unusually intense, so if you're glazing, it will need much more water than a paint from the Games Workshop line. One rule that is true across all lines is that the thinner the paint, the less you should have on your brush. Thick paint will dry quickly if you have too little, whereas very thin paint will offer you zero control if you have too much. Experimentation is key. Try to remember that it's only paint and if you make a mistake, it's not a problem because you can just paint over it. Another good tip is to try out a magnifier. After all, you can't paint it if you can't see it. I use a head mounted visor that makes everything appear twice as big. It does take some getting used to but I think it's worth it. I'm not going to lie though, it will make you look like the biggest nerd in the world and you will die a little inside every time someone sees you wearing it. But that's a price I'm willing to pay. Watching how other people paint will allow you to improve quite rapidly, but pick your learning sources wisely. Try not to look for the easiest methods. Instead, hunt around and find the one that gives you the best possible result. Let's say you want to paint non-metallic metal. Find the most convincing end product, then work through the tutorials and try to match it. You might find that it's outside your current skill level, but that's what you want, as it's going to give you the most scope to improve. Always look for techniques or processes that are beyond your current skill set because even if you fail, you will learn and improve so much in the attempt. Try and see every failure as a new opportunity to get better. You build on failure. You use it as a stepping stone. Uh, you don't close the door on, on the past. You don't try to forget the mistakes, but you don't dwell on it. You don't let it have any of your energy or any of your time or any of your space. You know, you analyze it as you're moving forward. And... Uh, never fall in the same trap twice. If you constantly push yourself to try things you see as impossible, pretty soon what you saw as impossible will not only become possible, but they will become your new normal. <laughs> Last and most importantly, have fun. If you don't enjoy what you do, you'll never get better at it. Alright guys, that's all from me. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks again. Bye for now.